step off the beaten path and maybe learn a little something while you're in Vegas. No matter what you're interested in, there's a museum for just about everyone. And if you're staying on the strip or downtown, you won't have to travel far to go to any of these attractions. There are several unique to Las Vegas, or some might even say unconventional museum options to check out. Here are five museums to visit on your trip to Vegas. Number one, the Las Vegas Natural History Museum. For all the classic history buffs, there's the Natural History Museum. Located in downtown Las Vegas, this museum features interactive exhibits focusing on wildlife and prehistoric life, taking visitors young to old on a journey through time. From the desert to the ocean and from Nevada to Africa, this museum is a learning adventure around the world. The Marine Life Gallery features a 3,000 gallon tank that is home to sharks and stingrays, while a multitude of colorful sea life are housed in other tanks. In the Prehistoric Mammals Gallery, visitors can see real fossils that were found right here in the Las Vegas Valley. Walk through a realistic entrance to King Tut's tomb and be transported inside an Egyptian tomb where you'll learn about ancient artifacts. These are just a few of the exhibits you'll find at this museum. Number two, the National Museum of Organized Crime and Law Enforcement. Or more simply put, the Mob Museum. From Al Capone to Frank Costello to every mobster in between, learn about the mobsters who shaped Las Vegas history at the Mob Museum right in the heart of DTLV. This museum has everything you need to know and then some about American mob history. Built in 1933, the building is the former Las Vegas post office and courthouse. You can even still see the original post office boxes when you first enter the building. You can also visit the very courtroom that in the 1950s held infamous hearings to expose organized crime. This museum prides itself on not showing the glitz and glam of Las Vegas and the mob. The facts are presented and the stories and artifacts are real. So much so that there are passageways to skip certain exhibits due to their graphic nature. Sitting behind glass, one of the most well-known artifacts at the museum are actual bricks from the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, put back together and arranged how they would have been, with bullet holes and all. From learning about prohibition and moonshine to drinking moonshine, if you know the password, the museum even has an underground speakeasy where you can enjoy authentic prohibition era adult beverages. Even more secret than the speakeasy itself, Behind this painting, there's a secret lounge within the secret bar. It's like secretception, I guess you could say. That was so dumb, I'm sorry. Moving on. Number three, the Neon Museum, Las Vegas. Staying in the Vegas history vein, the Neon Museum showcases iconic Las Vegas signs that the city is known for. At the Neon Museum, you will walk through what's dubbed as the Neon Boneyard. It is quite literally a journey through history where the old iconic signs are on display at ground level. The museum preserves these works of art to display as pieces of Vegas history. They are dedicated to collecting, preserving, studying, and exhibiting these iconic signs. The main boneyard includes more than 250 unrestored signs and numerous restored signs that remain lit all day long. Not to mention, not only will you get a Las Vegas history lesson at the Neon Boneyard, but this is also a photo-worthy spot like no other. What better backdrop to your Instagram photos marking your trip to Vegas than the plethora of colorful, vintage Las Vegas neon signs? You can visit during the day or at night to see some of these signs light up. Number four, the Discovery Children's Museum. Located in downtown Symphony Park, this one is for the kids. I'm not a kids expert, but I can almost guarantee they will not find this one boring. Focusing on learning through interaction and play, this museum is an educational experience like no other that the kids will actually enjoy. The museum's mission is to foster a welcoming, vibrant, and inclusive environment where all are invited to engage in playful and educational experiences on the first floor in Waterworld, guests can have a hands-on experience with water, learning about its power and movement. On the second floor, the Discovery Lab is a first of its kind in Nevada. The lab is an innovative maker space that is designed to simulate exploration, creativity, risk-taking, critical thinking, and collaboration to navigate the creative and design thinking process. Kids can climb from floor one to three using the 70-foot tower dubbed the Summit. These exhibits are just to name a few, but there's so much more playing and learning to be had inside. Number five, Zach Bagans, The Haunted Museum. Shifting gears in a big way. 
On the complete other side of the spectrum, do you have a curiosity for the unseen? This last museum is not for the faint of heart. As seen on the popular series Ghost Adventures and voted Best of Las Vegas four years in a row, Zach Bagan's The Haunted Museum houses a collection of haunted objects from around the world. You can wind through dark hallways and visit more than 30 rooms of different haunts. That is, if you can make it through them all. <laughs> Some of the famous objects the museum houses are Peggy the Doll, Jack Kevorkian's Death Van, and the Dybbuk Box, which is said to be the world's most haunted object. There is also an RIP experience where you can go down into the basement, which is supposed to be the most haunted part of the building. We sent our photographer to venture down there and report back. He is still with us, but does he remain unchanged? Guy, you good? Uh, I, I think so. I guess we'll have to take that. Enter, if you dare. For more details on things to do in downtown Las Vegas after you're done visiting a museum, check out our video, Five Things to Do in Downtown Las Vegas.